Welcome back, Oscar fans to Sing Winnie Winnie TV. Yes, full time score at the Tottenham Stadium. Yes, you know the score. Arsenal 3, Tottenham 2. Yes, a game where we could not afford to lose. But yes, we nearly actually gave it all away at the end there. Oh my gosh, I said it in the first half. Even though it was 3 0 up, I said to myself, wow. I don't know how in this position with all those chances that Spurs missed and um, how we, was, I think, were lucky to even be ahead at that uh, emphatic score line. But, yep, the goals came early on. There were um, an own goal by Holberg. He jumped up there with Tomiyasu converting into his own net to make it 1-0 to, to the Arsenal. In between that, Sang was in between there. You know they had chances. They hit the post. Uh, they were making us work hard. They had chances where we didn't. And um, oh, the second goal came. Lovely goal, by the way. I think it was a lovely ball by Havertz um, on the breakaway um, where he found Saka on the right-hand side. Great counter-attacking counter move. Saka cutting on his left foot um, and he converted low towards the keeper's right-hand side. Yep, 2-0 Arsenal. I couldn't believe it, to be fair. And then right there, another set piece came in from uh, the corner. Declan Rice puts the ball in. And it was met lovely there by Kai Havertz. Yes, that £60 million pound man scores again. Yep, he runs off at, uh, to the away fans doing his usual year celebration. Yeah, I, like I said before, I couldn't believe it. But I was a bit uh, uh, worried about that score line. I, I thought where Spurs weren't uh, taking their chances, that they they could have uh, possibilities of getting one, and they did. And I was screaming just before half-time, I was saying Arteta oh, needs to get the, um, his players in there, in the changing room, and give them a good talking to, because all that sloppy football we were playing, and um, also uh, dancing around the box, playing out from the back. Um, obviously, you know Spurs, how they play. They like to play on the front foot. They like to pr uh, put pressure on the ball. As you know, Partey had a, got the ball a few times. And uh, obviously, the attacking players were on him. So, they squeezed the lives out of us. And um, was waiting for us to make mistakes. And yep, we managed to get into the, um, the second half. Um, half time, should I say. Managed to get in there. And then what did we do? We come out second half. And uh, everything I was saying, it started to unfold in front of my eyes. I couldn't believe it where Raya had the opportunity to just clear his lines. What does he do? Flapping around right outside our uh, penalty area. Gives the ball straight to Romero. And what does he do? Converts everyone out of shape. Making it 2-1. Then, you know, straight away, game on. Yes, it was. You, it, all the fans, the, the home fans, started to raise the tempo again. Because when it was 3-0, it was very silent. But as soon as they got that goal, they raised that tempo again. And all, the, all the, um, the fans got behind the Tottenham players. And they managed to get another goal from from a penalty spot. It was a penalty. Um, you saw it. Um, uh, Declan Rice went to clear his lines. He was watching the ball come over his head. He went to kick it. But obviously, uh, I can't remember who it was. Stepped in front of the ball. Kicked him in the ghoulies. And he was down on the ground, penalty. Uh, the, ref, the ref was told by VAR to go and check his uh, screen. He did. I saw it in uh, real time. He points to the spot, up to it's on. And you know, the rest is history. He converts to make it for a 3 2. Now you know it's squeaky bum time. Yes, squeaky bum time. It really was. The nerves were settling in, the heart was racing. Oh, my brow, the sweat on my brow was, oh, it was, oh, I didn't really like that game. I mean, yeah, I, I didn't, really, yeah, I didn't like that game. I mean, 3-0 was emphatic, but we knew the minute that Tottenham get a goal, then that was going to happen, and it did happen. We managed to persevere. We managed to uh, win the game, see the game out. <coughs> but what a nervy ending that was. But yeah, three points was all that matters, doesn't matter how you win them. <coughs> Um, as long as you come away with the, the, the points, and we did that. We were top of the league by four points uh, before Man City played, but Man City has since played. They won their game 2-0 against Forest. So, yeah, 
uh, they're hot, hot on our heels with that game in and still. So yeah, so overall, a bit uh, nervy, a bit worrying, all that uh, pussyfooting around the back. But apart from that, um, we've done well. Uh, we managed to have the bragging rights, yes. We are top of the league still. And yes, I can go to work tomorrow happy. Um, I can uh, hold my head up high to say, yeah, London, North London is red. Yes, it was always red and it is still red. Go on, you gunners. So, yeah, so hopefully uh, we're running out of games now. Uh, I think there's only three games left. So we'd have, we'd, we'd have to live in hope. We'd have to win our, our last three games and hope that Man City slip up somewhere. But um, it's going to be tough. But we are there. We're, we're in it to win it. And we're going to push them all the way and see where it takes us. So, yep. Yeah, if you do like my video, uh, please smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Leave the comments uh, in, in the comment section below. What your, your thoughts of the game. Um, and yeah, so until next time, take great care. And until I see you all again. So come on, you gunners. Come on. We are top league. Say we are top league. The world is everything. And it's Arsenal. Arsenal, we say. We're by far the greatest team the world has ever seen. See you later. Take care.